guys, this is Sylvia. Good morning. I teach uh, Pilates and Yoga and this is number three from my Pilates Basics series where we get into know basic Pilates exercises, uh, only four or five at a time. Um, that gives you a bit of focus, a bit of uh, knowledge how it works. So we really focus on the basics, get into know the exercises. And if you are a regular, you can just turn it up and do your intermittent advanced uh, variation of the exercise. So we're going to start on our belly today. So I'd like you to uh, come and roll onto your palm position. So right down onto your belly. And your first exercise is your one leg kick. So the elbows are going to come underneath your shoulders. Your forearms parallel with each other. The palms down towards the floor. Fingertips pointing to the front of your mat. Your spine is nice and long, make a lovely big shoulder as you breathe in and then pull the shoulders back so the shoulders are away from your ears. This exercise is going to focus on your back. So think about pulling the belly button towards the spine. So your pubic bone gently press into the ground while the belly is elevating above the floor. The spine is long, the chin is gently tucked in, that is just like a piece of fruit underneath your chin. Uh, so you're going to keep your spine super super long. And just focus on not letting the body collapse in the middle. So once you found this long, strong spine, you're gonna focus on your feet. Feet about hip hips apart. The movement is going to come by kicking with the foot towards the bottom. Take a big breath in. And as you breathe out, pick up your right foot and bring a foot kick towards the bottom. And then we breathe in and breathe out to touch again. Breathing in, breathing out to touch. Good. Once you got used to the movement, you can focus on the movement in the foot. So you flex the foot and bring the foot towards the bottom. You should feel the activation through the back of the body. So the glutes, the hamstring starts to fire up, the lateral part of the back is working. As you're getting tired, your belly then starts to come towards the floor and you start to collapse. So really keep pressing into the ground. So I'd like you to do another for each side. If you can come with me, then add a pause. So next time as you bring the foot to the bottom, you're going to go one, two, and relax. It's very important that you want to try and keep attention in the back of the legs. As soon as you lift the foot off the ground, feel the tension in the back of the legs, the hamstrings, the glutes. The belly stays off the ground, keep pulling the belly in. Let's do one more. Keep that long spine. Think about the lateral touristic breathing, last one here. And relax the foot back and down, really well done. Let your body lower down, place your hands underneath your shoulders on the in-breath. On the air, push back, so the hips driving towards the heels, stretch through the back of the body. Take a lovely big breath in, breathing out. Lay down on the right side of your body. So I'd like you to um, find the right side. You're going to find the feet, one on top of the other. You're going to have the elbow underneath the shoulder. So we coming into your oyster exercise. So the elbow underneath the shoulder, the elbow and the hips in line, underneath about the 45 degree angle. Let the shoulders pull back and down, and again, imagine those two pairs of glasses. Hand can be in front of you, or relaxing on your thighs. So this exercise is going to aim to strengthen your gluteus medius. So knees and head ankles together, taking a lovely big breath in. On your next out breath, I'd like you to open your top knee as far as you can without letting your top hip roll. So top hip stay one on top of the other and then bring the knees back and down together. Let's do that again. Breathe in and relax back and down. That's it. So keep that triangle shape underneath the side of the body. Remember not to let the shoulder come away and the body, the, lower, the side of the body to come down. So keep that lovely straight line from the hip towards your um, armpit. So keep the breath flowing. This is a time where you can really focus on your pelvic floor as well. So whenever you breathe in, feel the contraction, the squeeze in the pelvic floor and the relax back and down. Keep the edge of your feet glued together and remember not to open too wide because then you're going to feel your top hip rolling back. Let's just do another two more. So keeping the breath flowing all the time. The movement happens We'll ham in harmony with the breath. One more time. Give it, we'll squeeze at the top as you open. Back and down. Great job. 
coming into our next position. Come and lie down on your back. You can stay anywhere over there you feel comfortable. So you can always sit down and use your forearms. Come into your seven position. Feet hip bits apart. Arms by the side of your body. Shoulders relaxing away from each other. So next one is bicycle. That's a quite common one and you can do it in different positions. Today we're going to do it in supine. So whenever you're ready, you're going to find the feet that needs the hips in line. Finding the belly button towards the spine so there's like a teeny bit of space underneath your back, like you could put a letter underneath that's going to show you that you're engaging your lower abdominals or the lower back. And then the spine is super long. Take a big beautiful breath in. On your next style breath, pick up your right foot and bring the right foot just about the hip. So if I'm in the knee about the hip, in this position, tabletop position, bring the foot back into the floor, breathing in, breathing out to bring the left foot up. What we're doing is starting to awaken the lower body, the lower part of the belly. So as soon as you lift the leg up, you're going to have hard to work a bit stronger through the uh, lower back, the lower abdominals, and hopefully your pelvic floor. That's it. So next time, I'm going to take a little change here. And they start to bring in a bit of a tightly motion. So as you bring the right foot up, I'd like you to bring the right foot a little further as you bring the foot towards the bottom. So do a cycling motion with that right leg. And we're just going to do a little practice here. So extend the leg a little bit further away, bring the foot back to bottom. You may let the toes scrape against the floor. Good. Two more like this. Keep the body nice and still. Lower back stays down. And next time as you bring the foot towards the bottom, place the foot back and down. And let's do the other side. So pick up the left foot. Start with the foot coming towards the bottom and then knee towards the chest. Extend the leg slightly and start to bring the lid circle in motion. So if you can relax the rest of the body, the right knee stays in line with the hip and the breath keeps flowing. You may start to reach a little longer. If you have any back pain, stay here. Keep your lower back connected. Two more. Nice and long extension of the leg. And as you come back, let the foot drop back into the floor. So let's see if we can do this together. Next time, breathe in, bring the right foot off the ground, and let the left foot rise. So again, to extend the right leg first. So bring the right leg into an extension, 45 degree, and then the left leg. So you're going to start to bring a little bit of movement into the, toe, into the legs as we create a bit of extension. So lifting the legs towards the ceiling is going to give you a little help, a bit of support for the lower back. It look a little bit more, start to extend the legs a little longer. Start to make your breath a little longer. Start to bring the foot a bit closer towards the ground. That's the one. And of course you're welcome to stay here. Or you can reach your arms along by the side of your body, tuck your chin, lift your upper body off the ground. And we got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now when you're there, flex your feet and let's change direction. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more round, toes forward, push, reach, long. See so if you can lift your shoulders a little bit. Two, one, and flex and backwards. So imagine your foot is like a spoon in an ice cream top. Keep reaching. When you're there, freeze, bring your knees to your chest, hug them in, give yourself a little bit of a roll, and then take your time to find a nice long position where you can stretch your abdominals out. So this is great for your lower part of the abdominals, the whole of the core straight, strengthening as soon as you lift your upper body off the ground, your upper legs engaging it as well. Okay, so your next exercise is your single leg stretch. Quite similar to this one, so that one's going to be by the side of your body, taking a big beautiful breath in, start with the basics, remember, so you're taking a big breath in, breathing out, pick up the right foot off the ground and extend your right leg so your thighs are parallel with each other, breathe in to bring the right foot into the floor and breathe out to pick up the left foot, so think about a slow transition with the body moving as little as possible, relaxing the feet down to the ground, and just making sure that your, your belly is staying connected strongly into your spine. Good. So this is your first level. You can stay here. 
if you like to work a little bit more we can come up in the tabletop one by one on the out breath pick up your legs feet hip fits apart chin for a little bit of floor and we're going to do exactly the same on the out breath right leg extends 45 bring it back on the in breath left leg extends 45 bring it back on the in breath the feet can be in a neutral position it can be in a pointing position or you can even flex if you'd like to feel a bit more for the back of the legs good this is your level number two to keep breathing keep connecting towards the floor with the lower back level number three you can do this with the head down on the ground if you would like to next time on the out breath tuck your chin in around and i'd like you to hold on to one of your legs one hand to the inside of your leg bring the knee a bit closer and the other leg in the outside the inside of the knee, outside of the ankle, opposite leg can come into an extension. So taking a nice big breath in, lifting the shoulders, shoulder blades off the ground, breathing out and swap. Breathe in, breathe out. In and out. So short, shaft, breath as you swap. If this is too much for your head, place the head back into the floor and you can still keep going with the head. So bring the knee closer to the chest, extend the leg as high as you want to you can also maybe stay a little higher with your leg good how many shall we do shall we do another eight eight seven six five three four three two and one and you're present to add double pass so we go one one two one two four three two one and hold nice work well done all right feet down arms legs extend so again you can always repeat this twice if you feel that you can do a little bit more or instead of your stretch just do a few more reps okay so when you're ready please bring the arms by the side of your body and take a little roll over towards one side push yourself up and you go shoot be on the left side of your body so the left side of the body with elbows underneath the shoulder the knees together and put your line with your hip and you're gonna find a 45 degree angle so the shoulders pulling back and down and place your hand where it feels comfortable so remember to keep that long spine if you feel that your head is dropping just try to pull it back if you imagine the straight line from your tailbone up to the top of your head engage your core big beautiful breath in open in and then let the knees come together so think about again how high you open how far you go back you want to keep your body hips one on top of the other imagine you've got headlights on the tips and they're facing together so when you open the edge of your feet are going to stay together and you're creating a bit of a squeeze in between the inner thighs so think about that squeeze Think about the control as you open and as you close. The breath is going to help you to strengthen those muscles. So bring in the relaxation into the exercise and when you relax, you can work into those muscles. So two more to go. Breathe it in and out. Last one here. And relax back and down. So if you do wish to do more, that's absolutely fine. Otherwise, place your hands down. Bring your legs forward. So come up into a seated position. You're going to find your um, uh, legs in a comfortable position that feels comfortable for you. So it can be cross-legged, it can be even a bit extended. Make sure the sponge is nice and long, then you can anchor your sit bones down into the floor. So shoulders back in down. Your last exercise we do in this basic series is your spine twist. This position can be also done with this exercise in a kneeling position if seated for some reason is not comfortable. So allow your hands to come uh, right in front of your heart center with the hands in front. Now this is not yoga, it's just pretty simple Spine twist is about the rotation of your spine. And the very basic level is the hands in front of your chest that's going to limit the range of your spine, so the range of how much you can turn. Whenever you're ready, taking a big breath in Take a turn towards your right side, keeping the spine long at the base. You're going to feel that it's a limited range. Breathe out to come back to center and then do this on the other side. Breathe in into turn and breathe out to bring your uh, body back to center. Just do another one like this to see how it feels. 
So hopefully you can still focus on the breath. You're gonna feel that your head wants to turn a little bit more. So try to imagine that the uh, spine is one long stick and it can't turn any more than uh, actually a spine turns. If you like a bit more from here, the elbows or the arms gonna open up a little bit in a W shape. You're gonna do exactly the same. Breathing in to turn, keeping the knees wide, breathing out to find your way back to center. Think about not letting your spine lean back. The arms, the hands going to be just in front of the body line. It's a very, very small rotation from the base. And uh, let your body breathe. If you do need to take a break, please take a break. And if you want to work a little bit harder, your arms gonna come nice and long. So you can imagine you may hold like a broomstick behind your back with the shoulders pull away, elbows can be slightly underneath the shoulders and then let's turn this way, so you're going to turn. Now the common mistake here is that this arm going to come around in front of you. So think about pulling it back, keeping it open, keeping the shoulder open and then back the center. So you can remember you're moving your own tempo, so you may move a little faster. Keeping the spine nice and long, breathing in as you turn. Breathing out as you find your way back to center. Remember in Pilates, you're breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Good. One more. This time, breathe in, turn, hold it, feel the tension in your spine, the squeeze between the shoulder blades, and relax. And on your last one, turn and hold. Squeeze, 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 and release that. But I let the arms come down, take a little shoulder roll. You may find that you actually need to physically bring a bit of movement into those shoulders. Let the head hand reach up and across on the in breath, and relax down on the out breath, opposite side, reaching across, stretching through the side of the body, and back and down. Take a nice big uh, reach with the hands, show me your knuckles, open your back as you push the hands forward to me, pull the belly in round the back, reach your hands up towards the ceiling, press them towards the ceiling as you breathe in, breathe in out to all, let the arms come back, hands to floor, open the chest, tuck your chin as you lift your eye gaze, keep the chin tucked in and then come back to center, let your hands come together and take a bow. Well done, give yourself a clap. So this is three out of uh, four series in uh, basic Pilates. The basic exercises allow you to really get comfortable with. Um, so once we get into a bit of more flowing um, Pilates routines, you feel more confident and comfortable. Yeah, hope you enjoyed that. So if you've got any questions, uh, please uh, comment below. Or, uh, feel free to um, Comment also what other content you'd like to see in these uh, videos. So this is all for you guys. I'd like you to um, to keep moving, even if 20, 10 minutes a day, it is important for your body to, to stay um, strong and healthy. So this is it. Thank you very much for watching. If you have not done it yet, remember to subscribe so you get notifications of new videos. If Of course, if you like what you say. Uh, so subscribe and maybe share so other people can uh, know about this as well. Take care everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for doing it with me. Thanks for uh, all your hard work. Well done. Bye.